If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello, space and planet fans. Today, we're going to make a model solar system with polystyrene balls and paint. We'll create the sun and all of the eight planets in our solar system. Whilst we make our planets, we will also learn fun facts such as how many moons they have, the temperature of each planet, the orbit and rotational period, and how many moons. So to start off with, to make your model of the solar system, you will need nine different size polyester balls. You'll need a range of different sizes like this, so you can create the sun, and the rest of the eight other planets. So first we're going to use the biggest ball to create the sun. We're going to paint the sun with yellows and reds and oranges. And that is because our sun is a yellow dwarf star and all of the official eight planets will orbit it. The size of our sun is approximately 864,000 miles in diameter. This makes it 109 times wider than our home planet Earth. The temperature is approximately 50 million degrees in the centre at the core and approximately 5,500 Celsius at the surface. The sun does orbit the centre of the Milky Way approximately every 230 million years. One rotation of the sun takes approximately four weeks. And there we have our finished sun. So next we're going to do the first planet in our solar system. So we'll need the smallest ball. I'm going to paint it grey. And the first planet in our solar system is called Mercury. The size of Mercury is approximately 3,032 miles in diameter, which is about the third of the size of Earth. The temperature on Mercury's surface are both extremely hot and extremely cold. This is because the planet is so close to the Sun, the temperature in the day can reach highs of 430 Celsius. And because Mercury doesn't have much of an atmosphere to retain the heat at night, temperatures dip as low as minus 180 Celsius. It takes Mercury 88 days to orbit our Sun. And it takes 59 Earth days to rotate once. That's a very long day. It also has no moons as it's very close to the Sun and it's believed that the Sun's gravity would be too strong for Mercury to have any moons. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's the rocky or terrestrial planet. It's also the fastest to orbit our sun and it's also covered in craters just like our moon. And there is our finished Mercury. Next up we're going to paint Venus. We need a slightly bigger ball than Mercury. I'm going to paint this one yellow, orange, and a little bit of red. It is the second planet from the Sun and its approximate size is 7,521 miles in diameter. The temperature is an average of 464 Celsius. It takes 225 days for Venus to orbit the Sun. However, it takes Venus longer to rotate once on its axis than to complete one orbit of the Sun. It takes 243 Earth days to rotate once. That's the longest rotation of any planet in our solar system. It also has no moons. So Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. It also spins backwards in rotation and is another terrestrial planet. So that is our Venus. Next we're going to create Earth, so we're going to use the same size ball as Venus 
and we're going to paint it first with a light blue and then once it's dry we're going to add green, white and a little bit of yellow for the land and the snowy areas and the desert areas. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Its size is approximately 7,926 miles in diameter, making it very similar to the size of Venus. The average temperature for Earth is 15 Celsius. It takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, which is one year for us, and it takes 24 hours to rotate on its axis once, which we call one day. We also have one moon, and it's the only moon humans have ever visited. Our home planet is the third terrestrial planet, and the only known planet to house life, as Earth is located in the habitable zone, or also known as the Goldilocks zone. And that's our finished planet Earth. Next we're going to create planet Mars, so we need a small ball again, just like Mercury, and we're going to paint it mainly red with tints of brown and a tiny little bit of white for the snow cap at the poles. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It's approximately 4,222 miles in diameter. The temperatures on Mars range from minus 153 Celsius to 20 Celsius due to Mars's thin atmosphere. It takes 687 Earth days to orbit our Sun, and it takes approximately 25 hours for it to rotate once. Mars also has two moons. Mars is the last of the terrestrial planet, and it also houses the highest mountain in our solar system, called Olympus Mons. And there's our finished Mars. Next up we need to get a fairly large ball, but just make sure it's smaller than the sun. And then we're going to paint it a dark beige colour. We're also going to use browns and other beiges to create stripes on it, and a bit of red for its famous red spot. Jupiter is number Jupiter is planet number 5 from the Sun. It's approximately 88,695 miles in diameter, which means 1,300 Earths could fit inside Jupiter. It's approximately minus 110 Celsius on Jupiter. It takes 12 Earth years for Jupiter to orbit the Sun, and one day takes approximately 10 hours. Jupiter has 95 moons, and Jupiter is the first of the gas giants or Jovian planets, meaning it has no solid ground. It's the biggest planet in our entire solar system, and it has a red spot around twice the size of Earth, which is believed to be a massive storm. And that's our finished Jupiter. Next up we're going to make Saturn, so again we're going to use a similar size ball to Jupiter and paint it a slightly lighter yellow beige. We're also going to use some also slightly lighter browns for some detail on Saturn. However, we're also going to create a ring for Saturn as well, but we'll do that slightly later on and we'll cut it out of cardboard and paint it brown. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It has a size of 74,897 miles in diameter. Its average temperature is minus 140 Celsius, and it takes Saturn 29 years to orbit our Sun. And one day on Saturn is approximately 11 hours. It has 146 moons. Saturn is the second gas giant, it's famous for its massive rings, however, all of the Jovian planets have rings, they're just not the size of Saturn's and it's difficult to see from Earth. 
Saturn also has the most moons out of any of the planets. And here is our finished Saturn. So next we're going to do Uranus. We need a slightly bigger ball than the Earth and Venus ones, but slightly smaller than the Jupiter and Saturn planets. And we're also going to paint this one quite a oceany rich blue colour. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It's approximately 31,763 miles in diameter. The temperature on Uranus is an average of minus 195 Celsius. However, it is known as the coldest planet because it has the coldest temperature ever recorded at minus 224 Celsius. It takes 84 years for Uranus to orbit our Sun. However, one day on Uranus is 17 hours and it has 27 moons. Uranus is an ice giant and the coldest planet in our solar system. It also is the first planet that was ever found by a telescope. Uranus also rotates backwards and on its side. And there's our finished Uranus. And lastly, we need to make Neptune. So we need to get a ball a similar size to Uranus and paint it a darker blue. We're also going to use and blend in streaks of white. Neptune is the eighth planet from our sun. Its average size, oh, why, why? <laughs> Neptune is the eighth planet from our sun. Its size is 30,775 miles in diameter. Its average temperature is minus 214 Celsius and it takes 165 Earth years to orbit our Sun. The rotation period is approximately 16 hours for Neptune and it has 14 moons. It's the last official planet in our solar system and it's also the windiest planet around. And here's our finished Neptune. So here we have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. We can also arrange the planets like this. So first get your sun and then you can place a small cocktail stick in and place Mercury on the other side as that's the closest planet to the sun. You can keep continuing to do this with sticks gradually getting longer and longer and in order of the planets from the sun. And you can place them wherever you like on the sun but I'm just placing them like this so you can see them better. And that is our finished solar system model. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed creating all of the planets in the solar system with us today. And we hope you enjoyed learning all the fun facts about the planets and the sun. We hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.